From travel plans to shopping list, many families are prepping for a reunion around the Thanksgiving table. Experts say the COVID-19 vaccine means a safer holiday this year than last. But for some, planning could still be complicated. Do you have people in your family that are medically vulnerable, high risk? Dr. Matt Lynham with Children's Health Care of Atlanta says it may come down to your family's health and vaccination status when finalizing holiday plans. According to the CDC, the best way to minimize risk and stay safe is to get the vaccine. Vaccine. That also can help protect young children and others still vulnerable. Even though 5 to 11 year olds are now eligible for their shots, Dr. Lynham says the timing is tricky. It makes it a little bit hard to get um, five year olds and above you know, fully vaccinated in time for Thanksgiving travel. One dose is better than no doses at all, but we know that you need a couple weeks after your second dose to really be fully protected. If you're not fully vaccinated, the CDC advises delaying travel and wearing masks in public indoor setting. And everyone should mask up indoors in areas of high transmission. Celebrating outdoors continues to be a safer option than indoors. And if you're sick, stay home. Experts say rapid tests can be a good tool ahead of the holiday with caveats. It is just a single point in time. Ultimately, not all trips carry the same risk. The American Academy of Pediatrics says traveling by car to a rental home is safer than flying to a busy hotel. At the end of the day, the more contacts, the higher the risk. If you're planning another gathering in December, here is one more timeline for you to keep in mind. Anyone who gets their first dose by, let's say today, could be fully vaccinated by Christmas Eve.